akasifundeke ibhayibhele encwadini ngoku ka Matthew let's read from the bible sangamashuma mabili nanye and we read from Matthew chapter 21 asqaleke bese inoqala let's read from verse 1 kwathu kuba basondele Jerusalem sebefikile ebetfake ngase ngase ntabeni yemqulu ujesu wathuma abafundi ababili now when they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethpage at the Mount of Olives then Jesus sent two disciples wathi kubo hambani niyemzanini obhekene nani niza kufumana masinyane imbongolo ikhulekiwe nethole linayo zithukululeni nizilethe kimi saying to them go into the village opposite you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her loose them and bring them to me uma umuntu esho uthi kini anothi uma umuntu esho utho kini anothi inkosi iyazidinga uyakuzithumela masinyane and if anyone says anything to you you shall say the lord has need of them and immediately he will send them kepha lokho kwenzeka ukuba kugcwaliseke okwashiwo ngumprofeti othi all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying ishoni kuyo indodakazi yaseziyoni ukuthi bheka inkosi yakho izakuwe imnene ikhwele embongolweni yebo etholeni inkonyane yesilwane esiboshelwayo tell the daughter of zion behold your king is coming to you lowly and sitting on a donkey a colt the foal of a donkey abafundi bahamba benza njengokuba ujesu bacelile So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. Baleti mbongolo nethole babeka izingubo zabo phezu kwazo wahlala phezu kwazo. They brought the donkey and the colt laid their clothes on them and sent him on them. Iningi lesiqungu lendlala izingubo zalo endleleni. Kepha banye bagawula amahlamvu emthini bawendlala endleleni and a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road iziquku ezazihamba phambi nezazimlandela zamemeza zathi hosiana kuyo indodana ka david Ubusisi wozayo ekameni lenkosi hosiana kweli phezu Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out saying Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Atkinela we'll read thus far Ai lenda besengifundile indabende ebanzi Ngeke sikwazi kuyiqeda ngehore lodwa Now this text which I've read to you is so rich in content that we could never complete it and finish it in just one hour Indabe simanga ai uyazi indaba kaNkulunkulu ayizekeki imnandi iyaqiqima i awazi ukuthi it is a beautiful text it is so wonderful and it shows how the, the things of god we cannot reach the highest heights of it and it is so full that we can never explain it all isihloko salendaba salenchumayela ukuthi bheka inkosi yakho izakuwe Bega inkosi yakho izakuwe 
the theme of this message is, Behold, your king comes to you. It's a pity when people are blunt regarding the things of heaven. The natural man cannot understand and cannot grasp the things of heaven. The things of the earth are very clear and close to them, but very distant are the things of God. Actually, it should not be the case. That is wrong. Instead, it should be that the things of heaven are close to us and the things of the earth are strangely dim. Didn't our Lord say, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you? But Satan has muddied the waters and our minds and our in our natural state we are not inclined to the things of heaven and we are so depraved that we don't look towards heaven, we look towards the lusts and cravings of this world. But I say to you person, you who are possessed by the lusts of this earth and you don't see the things of heaven, you've lost even your humanity. Instead, perversion and a bestial nature takes over. You're not a person, you're an animal. And you're not speaking a human language anymore. You're speaking the language of just animals. In the Bible, in the Bible we hear about a beast that is in opposition to Christ, an awful, terrifying dragon, you speaking his language. Every human Every human being should be speaking the heavenly language, but instead they're not. And the earthly things, and that's all that they can see. You'll find that the same person who reads the Bible with no understanding, nothing goes in, is quite confident and completely at home in reading something pornographic. That's what gets to him.
ungaba into enkulu ebaba zekayo ukuthi inkosi yami izakimi izakimi inkosi yami inkosi yamakhosi yathezulwini if you can understand the heavenly language you would marvel and burst out with praise that your king says to you i'm coming to you that you say my lord are you really coming to me as the king of heaven as the king of heaven what is an earthly king he is just a person like you he will die like you will he eats food just as you do but this heavenly king who comes to you Behold him who was once in a manger, grew up, he lived, he died, he was crucified and he was raised from the dead and now is ascended in glory and majesty and power, he comes to you. If an earthly leader would take such preeminence in our lives, like if we were told today that tomorrow the President of South Africa, Mr. Mbegi, is coming to visit, what preparations wouldn't we make to get ready for him? Or the Queen of England is going to visit. But this one is the King of Kings. Who does he seek to come to? You. And he wants to come to you as your bridegroom, you being his bride. He is the He is the bridegroom and the Bible says behold the bridegroom cometh let the bride ready herself and put on the wedding garments Uguti inkosi yakho izakuwe I don't know how to describe it more clearly the enormous meaning that we find in this that your king comes to you Arengithathu Abraham ethuma uEliazar induna yakhe enkulu eyogcina Let me take a look Abraham uyomfunela let me take an example of Abraham sending his chief servant Eleazar to fetch a bride for his son. To make, a, just to summarize the story, he took ten camels. What 
loaded the camels with treasures full of gifts to go and to seek a bride for his son. I come to you as the Lord's servant today, as the one who comes on behalf of the king, of the bridegroom, coming to say that he wishes your presence. You as the I have served you for many Sundays, Sundays after Sundays, and yet you still not turn to him, you still do not repent. What else do you want? Or do you want me to stand up an accusation against you one day? And have to say to God, I preach to them, Lord, but they did not convert. When I you who have converted, repented, surrendered your life to this bridegroom, this heavenly bridegroom, you have agreed to become his bride. I say to you, hold on, hang on, keep your promise of faithfulness to your bridegroom. As it says, till death do us part, remain faithful to him. Eliezer came heaped with presents and gifts. When he came to the predestined place where God said to Eliezer, this is the place, this is the person. He took out gifts, gold, a ring, and gave it and put it upon her. Put it on Saying, I have been sent by Abraham. I have come to seek a bride for the only begotten son of my master. Her response was one of gratefulness and of openness, friendliness, hospitality, saying immediately to Eliezer, come in, there is food not only for you, but for the camels. We have everything you need. See how Rebecca welcomed him. But you find people today who don't welcome the Lord in their lives like she did. She brought him to the home and he then unpacked 
the loaded camels full of treasures and riches and gifts. Kodwa, uma ngibukisi sa loku u Eliazar abekpe keni kumaku ngibona kuti kuite ubala ite unatini uma usukatanisa na loku. If I had to weigh up the treasure that Eliezer brought for Rebecca, I say today, as I examine the treasure of that time and the treasure that I speak of now, our treasure far outweighs the treasure for her. If I say, your king comes to you, your king. He wants you to be his bride. Then that what Rebecca got is next to nothing. What I give you now in the Lord's name is ten thousand times more. You you can't buy it with money. In Kosiako is a goe. If you want to be a good person, you will be a good person. 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 You will be through this heavenly bridegroom, you receive forgiveness of sin. If you just think of the awful load and the heaps of sin that you have, how disgraceful, how shameful, the quantity higher than mountains, like the muddied shores full of filth, one can hardly imagine how big our sin is. I come to you as the Lord's servant in his name. And what the proposition that I give to you today is far greater. The wealth is far more than just that treasure which Rebecca got that day. With forgiveness, the treasure that he brings, the abundant life. So I say to you, the Son of God comes to you and he woos you today. Are you going to deny him? What an honor, what a privilege. How can we describe in words the greatness of his coming to you? Not even your coming to him, but he comes to you. Ongenas 
Vugu papa mube umundu. Upege. Ubone. Upkulu. Nobu mkoka. Balento. Obigwendwe yona. Just think of the enormity of it. How great is the honor that he should come. With him comes eternal life, treasure. He who is our creator, he who is life eternal, has no beginning and has no end. He comes to you with this proposition. We see Lima in. We see Lana He comes to you, you who have sunk to below a bestial nature. He comes to you with this wonderful treasure. He who has trampled the serpent with his heel, he who has conquered the devil. He comes with you. How can you deny him? He comes to you, you who you are living in your filth, in this bestial nature, with these terrible, wicked, perverted desires which you indulge in day by day. He comes to lift you up with this invitation. We are on our way now, Osapu Gute Zonwin. When you say it's a grilla, says on, Nessa says we need. When Opele Lubun, do she lives on me? Ubaba Samantha, Besson, Usaki Genu, Satan. Can't be funny. Ube Kawe Lama Kawe. Ume Osanguti Lumye. He whose heel was bruised, who by it trampled and squashed Satan, conquered him completely. Why do you still wallow in your sin? Why do you allow these wicked cravings and evil thoughts where instead he wants you and invites you to stand next to him as his bride? You should be adorned with beauty from him, adorned with all the wonderful beauty that a bride has as she enters in. Think of an earthly bride as she enters in. Everybody stands up in honor and amazement and an adoration at the beauty that she displays. That's how he wants you to stand before him. So I declare to you, do not kick this great privilege that the King of Kings comes to you with. And trample it underfoot. Just 
Just these days, I was reminded by somebody, somebody who asked me, do you remember the first sermon you preached in 1951? My theme... Was the blood of Jesus. And I asked that very small congregation, just a few who were there, where is the blood of Jesus in your life? Is it in your heart having cleansed you, or is it under your feet in rejection that you've trampled his grace underfoot? I don't know how to describe and complete the picture to you this offer, this proposal that he comes to you, that you would make your vows an oath of allegiance to him, or do you still trample him underfoot in rejection? Will you say, Lord Jesus, I agree, I say yes. That I'm not like a person who's lost their humanity and they've who has be- become he comes to you in such a way that and he comes often. How can you deny him? He comes to you with the first offer. Maybe you've heard him offer this to you and appeal to you so often. How can you go out with your drug addiction, your lust, whatever it is that you are still holding on to? Often, I've often acted as a go-between where a young man gives a proposal and wants me to propose to a young girl on his behalf. And often the young man would come back and say, has she answered yet? One would say, it's been a whole year. Is there still no answer yet? In one case, it was four years. How long has the Lord Jesus been sending his message to you? And have you denied him still? Till this day, have you become beyond feeling like a stone that is, um, has got no humanity? The prophet Isaiah said, a donkey knows its owner, an ox knows its place where it comes the animal knows where to come at night but my people do not know me 
But if you if you deny if you resist him you reject him you turn your back on him what is the alternative do you want to live a life and an eternity without God no ma wouldn't you rather say with Peter, Lord, where else can I go? Who else has the words of life but you? Today, I have tried with all my might. I've tried with all my might to describe to you this wonderful invitation that the bridegroom extends to you, how his outstretched hand reaches out to you as your Lord, your King. Do you know that Jesus wants to become your husband, that you are his wife? He means you, yes, very personally and uniquely you, that he wants to live with and that you are his bride. Accept it in a general way. We are the bride of Christ. But have you ever made it personal that you are the bride of Christ? Are you conscious of that fact? Do you feel that? Do you know that? Do you see that? You personally are the bride of Christ. Has it become real to you? It doesn't mean anything. The world means more to you than anything else. Tina Galula Sizoti Singu Makoti Gachesu Siti Tina Singuye Kotwa Uchesu Kulumangawe Wenu Kobolwako Kotwa Ganingi Aunayo Imizwa Yog Bonga Naye Nkosiako Eskulin Saloku Unemizwa Yezwe. A Sizwan to Nayu Chesu Sizwani Nayu Chesu. And what do we feel about Jesus? You've become blunt, insensitive, and you're able to go to bed at night whether you pray or not. It now makes no difference to you. You've gone beyond the point of feeling. You don't even feel your sins. You feel it when you have a bad tooth that is painful. You feel it when you have a headache. You feel that pain in your side. And you can cry because of the pain. Have you ever cried, truly wept because of your sins? When last did you cry, shed tears because of your sin? Maybe never, because you are dead. You're not a child of God, you're a child of the devil. Without repentance, nobody can be a child of God. And if you haven't experienced repentance, where you cry and shed tears because of your sin, like Peter did, King David did, they felt their sin. It was more painful than anything else in the world. And if you haven't felt it, no wonder that you're carrying on like a heathen, carrying on with your sin from one year to the other. You're still living in that evil mess of yours. 
wake wakala yini ukali zinyembezi ngenxa yezono zakho wena uqobolo wakho ngoba umthwalo ugaga wezono uzukhale ulila phambi kwakho uNkulunkulu noma awusakhali awusakuzwa lutho uqubeka nezono zakho usuku nosuku Being cheeky to your husband tomorrow you'll be cheeky again Isono Being unkind to wife to your wife tomorrow again You don't know repentance you haven't felt anything concerning sin If you have felt something something will happen is that godly sorrow will bring out bring forth repentance without repentance you can't be a child of god you're a liar you're a hypocrite umuphendukile ngempela ubuzokhala njengayo david wakhala ngenxa yezono zakhe upetru zathi mi izo izinyembezi ngezono zakhe kazi ukuthi usuphendukile ngempela yini ngoba ubona ubukhulu bomthwalo wezono every dictum and harry calls himself a child of god but few of those are really children of god some have never never felt their sin they've never shed tears because of their sin without repentance you got into the kingdom of heaven it's a lie you held back Baningi abakshoyo ukuthi mina ngingumntwana kaNkulunkulu basho kalula kodwa baningi abangasibona abantwana abantwana boqobo bakaNkulunkulu esikhululeni salokho uses uye endleleni eyesikhogweni we are sending sir we are farisa unamanga uthi uyakholwa uyikholwa lika satana let's go ukholwa njengoyihlo ibhayibhele kujacob elithi no satan uyakholwa uyikholwa njengoyihlo usatan instead you live the life of the hypocrite of the pharisee believing without repentance as the bible says that even the devils believe but they tremble you believe just as satan does did you understand that the devil believes as well ukuthi nayo satan believe the way he believes that's why you can live the way you live that's why you can lie that's why you can cover your sins kungenxa yokuthi usatan ongubaba wakho yikho ukuthi uqubeka njengomntwana ka satan uqubeka nezono zakho angibuyele kuleli point ndoda kazi yase ziyoni inkosi yakhiza kuwe let me return to this point daughter of zion your king comes to you uba no indoda kazi ka zion who is the daughter of zion indoda kazi ka ziyoni ibandla lika jesu makhuthi wakhe the daughter of zion lobo kazi is the bride of jesus the church his bride Ujesuza kubantu bakhe njengokuba sifunde esambulweni ukuthi bheka ngime mnyango ngingqongqotho ebandleni lakhe uma umuntu ezwa izwi la mavule ngizongena kuye anqonqozele ibandla lakhe thina siyakusebenzisa njalo sithi hey wena mhedeni ujesu yanqonqoza kuwe kha ujesu unqonqoza ebandleni lakhe kubantu bakhe Jesus endodakazini yaseziyoni comes to you he comes to his people he comes to his bride as it is in revelations he comes and says i'm knocking at your door he doesn't say that to the unbeliever but to the church to his people and says if you'll only open for me and let me inside ngoba we namakhuthi when um lobo gas for you the bride iqulo ikhwaya belicula la ngelizwa elinye verse bekhuluma ngokuhluleka kwethu ngamaphutha ethu noma khutha benawo amaphutha besisigcini ujesu yaphuma umyeni uphandle akegophakathi where the situation has become 
the failure of the bride with um, sins in her life where she is not pure till the Lord is squeezed out of the bride's life and is on the outside and not inside. These are different categories. The first being sinners who have never ever responded to him. Then you find those who have said yes to be his bride. They've got engaged to him, but in the meantime, they've got busy with other men. It's a shameful, disgraceful thing. Terribly wicked. The um, lack of faithfulness towards him, your bridegroom. Confess your sin. Come back to him. Come back to him, confessing your sin. For you have, you have confessed it in the past and you've gone back to the very same sin like a dog going back to its vomit or the pig to wallow in the mire again. But let me leave that point. I don't know whether you've heard or it's, you've missed it. Let me go to another point. When he says, your king, when the text says, behold, your king, your Lord comes to you, you daughter of Zion, it was literally coming towards the days of his crucifixion. You're speaking to Jerusalem, to the daughter of Zion. He had come to Bethpage. He had come to Bethphage there or Bethpage there at the Mount of Olives. There where there were orchards of olives, that which was to be crushed to be made into olive oil. The house of figs. Sorry. The ha- Angel Sorry, When he got there, he said to two of his disciples, Now go up and go to the village which is on the opposite side of the hill. Bethpage meaning the, the house of figs he said now you go there you go to that village that is on the other side and you'll find there a donkey and the foal of a donkey tied to it 
asazi ukuthi laba bafundi bo bo ababili bekungobani we don't know exactly who these two disciples were wena uma ufuna ukwazi uma usufile ungafela ngezonweni zakho ngangena ezulwini ubuze kubafundi ukuthi konje oba laba babili abebeya kulo muzi bezolanda impongolo netholelayo if you going to die and go to heaven remember to ask the, the disciples ask who these two disciples were but it's not revealed to us who it is hambani khona ngale kwentaba nzothola impongolo netholelayo khulekiwe thukululeni nilethela uma umkhuluniso umuntu nimtshele ukuthi inkosi iyadinga ithola it's not revealed to us who they were but exact instructions were given to them and they are very clear you will find there at that house you'll find a donkey and a colt the foal of a donkey and if anybody says ask to anything you say the lord has sent me the lord has need of it yebona kuningi kuningi esingakusho sikhuluma nje ngiyahlupheka ngithi ngizoku ngizosho kuphi ngishiye kuphi the sea umuntu onikhulumisayo ukuthi hey nenzani nithi inkosi yadinga leli thole uyazi ukuthi inkosi yadinga uyazi ukuthi yadinga inkosi wena ukhumbula indoda nje esekhaya wena ukhumbula ingane uyazi ukuthi khona okudingayo kunendoda kunengane zakho inkosi iqobolwayo iya kudinga uyezu iya kudinga just behold the wealth of information of treasure that we find in these verses just consider this point ponder upon it that the lord says if they ask anything as to why you are there say the lord has need of it and the lord says that he has need of you just imagine it that he says i need you you may say i need and i remember so much my wife or my son or my family but he remembers you he needs you we are dinga and if you turn your back on him mauf umfulatel your end will only be disaster isikrino sakho sizoba ukubhujiswa kwakho because of the slap you've given him ngoba usumshaya ngempama he needs you he he's got something for you to do and woe to you if you don't fill that gap hell is yours yenu jesu uyadinga uyakbiza ukuze ugcwalise isidingo sakhe maye kuwena mawumfulathele uthi ichabo kuyena isikhoko sizoba esakho if you don't come to jesus and say lord jesus here i am i heard you need me may it be written on your tombstone hell is his and hell is hers for ever and ever uma u ushilo kanjalo namanje usangaphenduka ukuthi yebo nkosi ngiyavuma ngaphandi kwalokho kuzoba esakho isikhoko ingunaphakade manje ke lento ukwazi ukuyithatha ngenqondo awukwazi ukuyithatha ngobuchopho bakho ukukholwa afiya into wenqondo wobuchopho now this is beyond your own brains beyond your understanding for faith is not just a matter of brain power let's increase our aim bili ezayale zabafundi asebenzisa ngingo these two young men who were sent by their lord to that village did not trust in their mind ngoba umakade besebenzisa ingqondo bebezothi how inkosi iyakwazi ni ukubuka ibona okungale kwentaba amehlo ayayangena inentabeni aphume ngale 
because if you had to start debating the issue and these disciples would say now let's just think this thing carefully through how can he know what's on the other side can he see what's invisible how, how could he possibly look right through the Mount of Olives and see to the village on the other side and see there a donkey and the foal of a donkey tied up there? These disciples were wonderful. They did not use their mind. Or they didn't lean on their mind. They didn't. They didn't ponder to ask the logic of this and to say, but how can the Lord say this? How would he possibly know what's on the other side? And after all, you could be thinking, that donkey doesn't belong to us, neither does the cult. How can we... How could we dare... How could we dare to go and untie these donkeys to loose them like common thieves? We will be accused of being thieves. And does a thief go to heaven? Won't the onlookers, those who see it happen, say, Look, there are thieves? Maybe there are some who will see us who know us, who we are. Maybe there are some who are strangers to us. But what will they think? What will become of us? If we are seen taking away the donkeys that belong to an owner, but the Lord said, anybody with questions, you simply say, the Lord has need of it. You see, you see, they didn't trust in their ability to think, in their own brain power. Their trust was not in that, in their own mind, but it was, a, it was faith. Some people, um, they live trusting only in their mind and they are busy with criticism and with critical thoughts all day long, day and night. Some believers, their Christianity and their belief is just in their mind. That's all. However, they heeded the word of the Lord. They did what Paul says to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. I think it's 2nd. 2nd Corinthians, sorry. Chapter 10. Ten. 10 verse 5. Casting down 
all arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against, sorry, the knowledge of God and the second part, taking into captivity every thought into obedience to Christ. Die haben ihren Verstand gefangen genommen. They made captive, like a slave, their own mind. Every thought. Every thought being made captive to the obedience of Christ only. These disciples, were diligent to listen and to obey what every single command that the Lord was giving to them. Dear friends, obedience to what Jesus says is the highest form of wisdom. There's no greater wisdom. You can be a professor, you can be a doctor, you're the biggest fool in this world. If you haven't learned to be obedient to what Jesus says and tells you. Zishobo ugum la lelu Christu, kujula gonke, kujula ingondo, kujula o professor, koto abangana kuksaga nipa, waloku uguti, sizi tobe, simla lelu Jesu. Aku kuksaga nipa, no munga ba ufi, ey, no munga ba utokotela, no munga ba ufolofese. Wese lima, ye lima. Umonga kwa su, ulalela, ulalele. You are not clever. You are not wise. Even if you have a BA or master's or doctorate, if you are disobedient to Christ and what he says. Instead, you, some say, I use, I've got to use my mind after all. Use your brains. There's no wisdom that surpasses this ultimate wisdom of obedience to Christ, doing what he says. Im Glaubensleben gilt nur das Wort Gottes. Das, was Gott sagt, das gilt. Ugupila a real life of faith is simply obedience to Christ. What he says, that you believe it, you believe what he says so much that you're obedient to it. They found it exactly, precisely as the Master had said. He could see what happens in the invisible realms. After all, wasn't he the creator? Isn't he the maker of that mountain? That's I rock and roll. In music, That is why Paul could confidently say. Everything else I have put behind me, I consider it as dung, as absolute rubbish in comparison to the greatness of knowing Christ. Or are you mixing things up? 
you're still bound by your rock music. Perhaps it's a type where it's the rock beat and you've put Christian words to it. That's still of the world. It's just a hyena in sheep's clothing. In the inside sheep's clothing, outside the hyena. Rock music with Christian words. Mshambe pagati gui mpesi. Gui music. Efana ne music lezo i rock. Gotwa usu mboza na makama wokolo. Uma uche se se kurumile. Uma se kurumile. Kwenele. Kwenele usafuna no gunye. Uma ukfunu yofundi swa matemoni. Now, when Jesus had spoken, it was sufficient. What he had said was enough. If you ask beyond what he has spoken, you're asking for knowledge that is beyond you. Then it becomes information that is for demons. White Taten Wabatum White Taten Hampenai. And when they got there, things worked out exactly as the Lord had said. It was precisely accurate. And they were able to say exactly those words The Lord has need of it. Bakeka Bakini Sega Batisimanga Gumnandum Landelu Jesu. We simangu Haba no Jesu. They could have a new confidence, a new delight in trusting Him, in being obedient to Christ. For wonderful is the faith. You are able to say with joy, it's glorious to be His bride. We are born again, I got Jesus, back finally, who is telling us about just for Jesus' sake, just Jesus is sufficient and so great, far greater than anything in this world that we should deny all for Him. So they brought then this fall of a donkey. Now you know what a cult fall of a donkey can be like, what it is like by nature, it is when it's never been broken in. It, it was recently that I mentioned what the character is like of a donkey that hasn't been broken into, how wild it is how it can kick in all directions and release bad wind in every direction. And I said how terrible it is. It is just uncontrollable. But in this case, this donkey was completely settled and at ease with the Lord. It also mentions that it's a female donkey. It says the foal, it was the cult of a donkey, which only emphasized that you ladies, you like to be stubborn. It is just a characteristic. I said young girls, young girls. And sometimes young women as well. And sometimes elderly women as well. Gite in Tombi. You can be cheeky, pig-headed, stubborn, 
kungaba kodwa lapho Jesu engakayigibeli uyasondela Jesu iyathamba iyathamba inkulu indaba yenkosi yamagosi awungangumceli uma ugxuma ukukhahlela ubheke phezulu phuma umoya omubi kuwe bese uthi ngiyumkristu aw kuzothuwa ezulwini kuzothuwa fuseka this cult was completely at ease and obedient in submission to Christ. It did not resist him. It did not suddenly kick in every direction. And don't tell me that you're on the way to heaven. If you're busy kicking in every direction, heaven will just say, Futsak, out of here. Akonkani, akonkubu, akonzonda, ukonu jesu. Watati ngubo zabo. Basbega pezu kwe mbongolo. Bafu nukuti ute iswa salega ase. Anga salega api. Nguba wena uma usil pezu kwe mbongolo. Ia ksaba la emufa. Batika asfu nukuti nkosi yetu salega api. Sifu nukuti salega ase. Ankumuli panchlam noma nkotola. Noma ngiswela. Kodwa ngifuna inkosi yami ihlale kahle ngiinake yona inkosi yami angizinaka imina angiziqaba ngena imina angizifunela kwami ngifuna ukuthi inkosi yami ihlale kahle niyezwa amakristo bazalwane nani bahedeni eningakaphenduki izwi ukuthi inhleli la kwasiza abantu it was utterly surrendered to him. No resistance, no grudge, no bitterness, but completely obliging to him. And the people around put on their garments because if you sit on the back of a donkey, it can be sore. And so they wanted to give him their best. You hear, you unbeliever, or you disobedient believer, what it should be like. They didn't think of themselves. Abbas Kabangela Their bought. own comfort. Noma Uguzi uh, As long as he is satisfied, as long as he is comfortable, Umu Jesu, the Christ is home. That's the hair click click is that the Lord will be happy with me. Uma and Nelisega Yena Kupela, U Jesu, U Christu, Guze at Togos and Ami. Aguko gunye engi dingu guti nginage. Aaaa, oh, abanye beza, na makabu ngalawa, e, a, 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 besundu, ngoba emazwenya, sempu malanga, uma inko sibibuya, ingobile, betkatwa, amasundu, aparanyesu. Abanye baka uli shasha, baku bege pati, batyo hosana, Hosana, ozayo meka malengkosi. Hosana, hosana, ukazo kuti sisindi senkosi. Hosana, sisindi senkosi. Some broke branches and um, waved these branches, which in the Middle East would be palm fronds being waved as to a victor, which was the custom at that time if a person had come back from military battle and come back the conqueror, that is how they would greet the conqueror. And also it was as adoration and worship before the Lord and saying, Hosanna. And that means originally, Lord, save us. Some took their very own garments, their robes, and laid it out before him so that the donkey would be able to walk. Even the richest of robes, doesn't matter what wealth had been put into the buying of that robe, down before the donkey. The good clothing, an expensive clothing, 
were just like filthy rags to them. Ingubo zabo ez inkle ez bizayo zafana nengubo ezi kukile ezi ngoli. Let the donkey walk on it. Uguze itole lembo. Even our righteousness, the Bible says, are like filthy rags. When you get to the I would hang in a camelin, as I vuma a camelin, car, who ends on a camelin, who fish is it. You get to the point of a figure, Patsquing, Natale, in Pongo, lay up the trail of trees. Utter surrender, total surrender, that everything is beneath the feet of Jesus in submission to him, under the feet of the colt of this donkey. And where you say, even my righteousness, I throw that away. Even what I think was good, I confess it all and I see the ugliness of it. I'm willing to confess it, not secretly hiding it in my room and just being isolated there. What are you hiding there after all? Time is gone. Much more. Much more could be said about this marvelous matter. He was saying, He who has an ear to hear, let him hear. And if you are disobedient and you don't want it, well, if you entirely reject it, that's your decision. But you should rather bring everything in submission to him. The son. Who says, Daughter, Daughter, who says, daughter of Zion, your king comes to you and just see how they received him in adoration and worship without doubt. But to my cause, she is she. See the attitude of these disciples without doubting in absolute surrender and faith in him. Uh, they said that this is what, the, as when they were questioned, the Lord has need of it, that the Lord needs you. Let me ask you, are there some in our midst here that you, you girls, you ladies, you boys, you men, that hasn't, you haven't repented yet? Have the voice of invitation where you say yes where you say Eh? 
where you accept his invitation, his proposal to you, and accept that ring, that offer, where you completely surrendered to him, or do I need to make an altar, altar call? Is that what you need to, to, to tie the deal, to say, yes, I totally accept? No, we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do or to you as the bride you who are a Christian already that you say Lord this revives my faith this revitalizes me Lord I make those vows again and I say I will promise myself to you for eternity Daughter of Zion, he listens and he awaits your response. He sees exactly what your response, what your attitude, what your answer is to him. Let's stand to our feet and we bow our heads. Oh Lord, open the eyes of the blind to see this which you say to see the king coming to us work O Lord for you know the need of everyone here but Lord it's not our need that matters but it's your need that you have need of us to come to you oh Lord help us help us Help us that we truly say, Hosanna, Lord, save us, that we truly mean it. That there would be a, a radical transformation of things in our lives. That each one would truly be your bride and do what you say. Amen. Amen.